Good morning, East Texas. I'm Dawn Rhodes, and this is the TylerPaper.com Morning News Update. President Barack Obama today will call for the ending of government's control of phone data from hundreds of millions of Americans and require intelligence agencies to get a secretive court's permission before accessing the records. However, congressional officials say the move would require approval from lawmakers, raising questions about how quickly the proposals could be enacted. Obama will announce the decisions in a speech at the Justice Department. He will not offer his own plan for where the phone records should be moved and will instead call on the Attorney General and the intelligence community to recommend a transfer point when the collection program comes up for reauthorization. The administration will also consult with Congress on the data transfer. Here's the rest of this hour's top stories. This is AP News Minute. A committee investigating the George Washington Bridge traffic jam scandal in New Jersey could name the 17 people and three organizations being issued subpoenas on Friday. Southern California firefighters say calmer winds helped to stop a 1,700-acre wildfire from advancing in the San Gabriel Mountains. That fire has destroyed five homes and forced several thousand people to evacuate. Dozens of wildfires are burning across southern Australia, where temperatures topped 100 degrees and strong winds are making conditions even more dangerous. And a house that's advertised as slightly haunted is for sale in eastern Pennsylvania. The couple selling the 113-year-old home says they've gotten calls from curiosity seekers and ghost hunters, but no legitimate buyers. Diane Kepley, the Associated Press with AP News Minute. This morning's featured focus in on Dot Me Photo Gallery was taken by our Gloria Swift at the Smith County Cattle Barons kickoff event last night. All the photos are available for purchase. Visit Focus In on Dot Me by clicking the photo link at the top of any TylerPaper.com page. Now here's your weather forecast from meteorologist Albert Brune. Here is your Friday forecast, and as we go with the hour by hour, notice the cloud cover this morning, but as we work our way towards the noon hour or late morning hours, notice this uh, cloud cover starts to clear out of here. I think our forecast models are trying to clear it out a little bit fast, but perhaps by noon we should see mostly clear skies developing across the region. Notice temperatures quite cool though still by the 930 hour, about 45 degrees, and that's where we're at right now. Now this afternoon we're going to be looking at temperatures slowly warming behind that cold front, so only about 50 degrees or so by noon. And then as we go into the afternoon hours, mostly clear skies. But notice as we get into the evening hours, temperatures start to cool down into the 40s. So if you have outdoor activities tonight, it's going to be a little bit chilly out there for you. Day planner forecast shows clouds this morning clearing by noon and uh, this afternoon 55 the high northwest winds 15 to 25 miles per hour. So gusty out there and it's going to be dry. And then your 36 hour forecast clear and cool tonight. Thanks for watching and look for more video news updates throughout the day.